Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my July favorites and this specific video is going to be a favorites and fails because I actually have a lot of new products that I'm trying and testing out if you've been keeping up with my videos you would know that I did buy a lot of stuff recently and um, I'm obviously in the process of testing out all these products and um, I have a lot of products that I love I also have a lot of products I'm not a lot actually a few that um, what kind of misses and I'll tell you why they were misses I do feel like this would be helpful and because we have a huge assortment of things um, I'm going to try to keep the intro as short as possible and I will also try to keep my reviews very concise with each and every one of them and um, let's let's just jump right into it starting with first I have two products from the dot and key barrier line I want to say so they have a barrier repair plus hydrating gentle face wash and then they have a ceramides and hyaluronic um, skin barrier repair plus face cream i have been loving both of these products so so much the moisturizer i have spoken about a lot in quite a few videos and this tube in fact is completely empty i actually started using it sometime in the end of june and in like roughly i want to say a month a little bit more than a month i've completely used up the entire thing it's my favorite night cream that i have been using and loving so so much that i actually ended up buying two backups of this as well which i will be digging into very very soon but um in short this is an amazing moisturizer for all skin types even though it is um marketed as something that's meant for dry to very dry skin i actually feel like all skin types can use this i can even use this as a daytime moisturizer to be honest on uh days where my skin is feeling more dry so if you have dry skin i think this will work both morning and night but for all skin types i think this is a great night cream it's so lightweight still moisturizing at the same time and it feels just like a warm fluffy hug on your skin absolutely love this and i would highly 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 recommend everyone to check this out on the other hand the face wash is a little bit more newer to me but i feel like i fell in love with this the first time i even used it because this is a really great gel cleanser and even though it is marketed towards normal dry sensitive skin i think this will actually work for all skin types again because it is a gel cleanser and i actually think that i prefer this a little bit more to their watermelon cleanser because i feel like the consistency of both of them is very similar but the watermelon cleanser has that scent to it which can be a little bit more like perfumey and on the stronger side which i do enjoy it but it can get a little bit overpowering this one on the other hand has like it still has a scent to it but it's a very mild very soft scent so i feel like that's the reason i kind of prefer this over the watermelon one because um the scent is more mild and with these dot and key face washes you guys you literally need the tiniest tiniest amount i feel like if you use too much product it's actually going to take a lot more water to wash off the face wash because there's going to be so much lather and so much like soapy foam that's going to be produced so do keep that in mind when you're using this but it's a great cleanser i would highly recommend it and if you love gel cleansers you will love this and even if you don't like gel cleansers because you feel like they're stripping this one will actually not strip your face at all so i highly recommend this one as well uh speaking about like um products i've been loving and like nighttime routine products because these two i've been using more in the nighttime not so much in the daytime i have two retinols to talk about as well one i've actually been loving a lot and that's the fox tail vitality retinol night serum again this is one that um you know i have used up and this is actually my mom's bottle that i grabbed which i wanted to show you because um, i wanted to try it out she's been using it for a long time and i wanted to see how good this is it's actually very very good it's um a slightly more moisturizing retinol i feel because the consistency is such that it's like a nice light creamy kind of a consistency which makes it um you know hydrating and moisturizing but not overly moisturizing um sinks into the skin super well doesn't cause any purging um i feel like the concentration of retinol in this is um efficacious but it's not too too much so if you are a beginner when it comes to retinol you would still enjoy this it's not going to tingle or burn or be too much 
for your skin and even if you're someone like me who's used retinols for a long time you will still notice the amazing ret uh, like amazing benefits that you get with retinol it's going to kind of help you keep your retinol progress stable so if that's what you're looking for this is an amazing pick and i like the fact that it's a more affordable retinol as compared to some of the other ones in the market which can be more expensive and when you combine it with the offers that foxtail has it's amazing it's truly like the best deal you could possibly find so highly recommend this one but i did try out another retinol that i was not very happy with i mean i'm still using it i'm currently using it in my nighttime skincare routine i'm speaking about the minimalist gran active retinoid 0.2 percent face not 0.2 um uh, 02% like 2% face cream is what they want to call it and this is like a new packaging they earlier had this in a dropper packaging and i actually feel like the way the formula is a dropper packaging would have been better i don't know why they put it in this kind of packaging i was actually hoping for the consistency of this one to be more similar to the foxtail but it's not this is actually more of like a thinner um like lotiony watery emulsion kind of a consistency and for some reason i don't know why when you apply it on the skin it doesn't sink in that quickly that well you have to kind of like use tapping motions and try to get it to like absorb into your skin but it does take a while to get absorbed into the skin so that is something that um I feel like the way it sits on the skin is a little bit more weird and I like my products to get absorbed quickly and well into the skin. I don't like them to sit on top like a layer. So I feel like that is why this is not my absolute favorite. Um in terms of like how it's been working on my skin, it's been working perfectly fine. It's just not the most elegant product to use or apply. So that's why it's not my favorite um and that's why i'm going to consider this as a fail i will use the entire thing up but i don't see myself repurchasing it or even recommending it for that matter unless and until you don't mind that and you want to buy a retinol that's easily available say on nika but i feel like even foxtail is pretty easily available so i would rather recommend that instead because it's a better pr price point i mean it's a similar price point but foxtail has better offers minimalist i feel like doesn't go on offer that often so you're going to have to pay full price for it and if you're paying full price you want a really like amazing product so that was definitely disappointing then we have a few sunscreens to talk about so i've definitely been going through a phase with sunscreens where i want to try to find out like new ones that i like as much as my deconstruct or at least a little bit less than my deconstruct but still really good ones that also work well under makeup that's something that's very important to me is that the sunscreen should dry down pretty quickly and um i should be able to put on makeup on top of it without having any problems because in the morning i don't have enough time to uh, wait for my sunscreen to dry down and then put on makeup i kind of can give it like a 10 15 minute waiting period uh but even 15 minutes is too much i would say like 10ish minutes um uh, and then i should be able to put my makeup on top of it without it caking and uh there have been a few that i have been trying out and seeing like if these work don't work how does it go so i have three to talk about i have the conscious chemist very bright water resistant soothing calming um non greasy sunscreen spf 50 pa 4 pluses this one is supposed to have niacinamide and blackberry extract you can see i've used a lot of it and this is one that's a very unique sunscreen i feel like all of these sunscreens are pretty unique and that's also something i'm looking for because if you've been watching my sunscreen videos you would know i'm constantly comparing sunscreens to each other because i feel like there is not much that is unique and like that stands out in the market every brand is trying to just copy the other brand in terms of formulation and then just repackage products that already exist in the market but these three i specifically find to be pretty unique which is why i want to shout them out and talk about them by the way i'll just quickly go through these three because i will be doing a dedicated favorite sunscreens video where i'll be talking about all these favorites and i will be going more in detail about them so um starting with first i was talking about the conscious chemist very bright one so this one is unique because it's actually got a purple tinge to it that um if you use the right amount and you get it to massage and like get absorbed into your skin it's not going to make your face look purple at all 
at the same time i think the purpose of the purple tint might be to not give any kind of white cast i don't know if that's what the idea behind it was but it doesn't give any kind of cast or make your skin look weird at all it's still moisturizing but would eventually dry down and give you like a nice hydrated finish and it does wear well with makeup as well you do have to wait a little bit uh, before putting on makeup but um, i can make it work for me uh, that's what i've realized with this product so i will just make sure that i have enough time that i can wait for it to dry but if i can then i can make this work for me basically is what i'm trying to say and i really like it i just want to see how many uses i get out of this because i do feel like i flew through the tube pretty quickly so that's one thing i'm a little bit concerned about but apart from that i do really like this product um the other sunscreen that i've also been using quite a bit is the foxtail cover up mattifying sunscreen spf 70 pa 4 pluses again now this is one that comes in like my favorite kind of packaging i'm definitely someone who prefers like an airless pump packaging for sunscreens as compared to tubes um now of course i'm sure that brands decide what kind of packaging they want to choose depending on the formula of the sunscreen itself so sometimes you have to be okay with having a favorite sunscreens in a tube uh, but i do prefer an airless pump packaging because it like gives you the least amount of wastage possible you can basically use up the entire tube and not have any um, sunscreen like wastage like anything that's like stuck around the edges or the corners or the uh, inside of the packaging like that does not happen with an airless pump and that's something i really like about this i also like that this is not your typical dermaco aqualogica sunscreen that all come in like this kind of packaging this is actually a little bit more lighter but at the same time it has that mattifying feel so it's not going to be like the aqualogica radiance uh, which i thought it would be because of how uh, liquidy it was and the way it was like applying on the skin um it felt similar that initially uh, but once it dried down i noticed that okay this is actually a mattifying sunscreen like the name suggests and it's not going to give you a super dewy finish it will give you a skin like finish it's not um as mattifying as the deconstruct gel sunscreen that one gives you like a powder matte uh like completely mattified finish this is not that mattifying but it still dries down well i would say and again it does work well under makeup as well you just have to give it the right amount of time it will dry down and it will work well uh, it will work well with makeup too so i have been enjoying this one also and then Last but not the least, the one that I'm wearing today is actually the Dermaco 2% Hyalocalamine Hydrating Sunscreen. Again, I've spoken about why I like this as well. This one was a very surprising product and I actually feel like it's very, very underrated also. I wish there were more people talking about this because this is so nice, you guys. It's a hydrating sunscreen like the name suggests, but it also has a good dry down and i feel like that is the key with most sunscreens that i really like for under makeup is that they dry down nicely which is why they don't uh pill or you know cake up the makeup on top so this one again works very well uh you know under makeup and i've been enjoying it too so um yeah i'm very happy with the finish and the like performance of this one and i feel like all these three are different yet they are serving the purpose for me which is great so yeah that is that that was my sunscreen spiel i spoke about them for a while and i'm going to quickly talk about one more sunscreen but this is actually not a face sunscreen it's a body sunscreen so i got a comment from one of you that um comments and like chats with me pretty frequently and you were talking about um using a retinol body lotion and how um, we should be protecting our body just like we protect our face with spf after using a retinol so basically if you're protecting your skin with spf on the face after using retinol at night you should be ideally doing the same thing for your body as well i just don't know why i didn't think about it sooner so because i've been using a retinol body lotion pretty religiously at night i want to now make a conscious effort to use spf body lotion every single day in the morning no matter what season no matter whether it's rain or shine or whatever 
I have to be using an SPF body lotion and now it's a non-negotiable for me and one that I've been using and really loving uh, I mean I wouldn't say I love it I feel like it's a learning curve especially because with SPF body lotions I've noticed you have to massage and massage and massage them into your skin and it's more than you would typically do with a regular body lotion but um, it is what it is it's something that I have been using and I do like it um, and I wouldn't call it like a like a favorite favorite but it is something that I'm using and I'm continuing to use if it was something it was like really bad I would have probably decluttered it by now you know so uh, I have been using it and I've been liking it um, apart from the fact that you have to massage a lot to get it absorbed into your skin I'm speaking about the Earth Rhythm Coconut Milk SPF 50 UVA and UVB Protection Butter Lotion. It says it's deep uh, nourishing for the face and for the body. I would never use this on my face because of like how much I'm gonna have to massage this and get it absorbed into my skin. And I would almost be scared it would break me out. So I would never use this on my face. But on my hands, I have been using it and I have been liking it apart from the fact that you have to massage for like five minutes to get it absorbed so I have been using it which is why I wanted to mention it in this video because otherwise I would just never share it with you guys so I wanted to do that and um, next let's move on to one favorite and then we will end the video with two like sort of meh products. Um, the last favorite I have to talk about is the Plum Body Lovin' Deodorant. This is their roll-on deodorant in the Hawaiian Rumba scent. I did get it recently and I have again been really really enjoying it. It's in my favorite scent and it's got the AHAs in this as well. I haven't noticed that great of results in terms of like underarm pigmentation with this one. As compared to the chemist that play one uh, even though they have the same ingredients so I don't really know how that works but I have been enjoying the scent and uh, I have been using it so I wanted to share that with you and let you know but uh, yeah that's that and last but not the least we have two more products and then we will be done with this video now these two products I will tell you specifically why I don't like um, so they are not like super duper bad and like fails i'm not gonna declutter any of those it's not that bad but it's still not the best you know so the first one that i want to talk about is this nail paint that i got from nika it's their nika vegan nail enable it's in the shade turn up the music okay so since i lost my voice i had to go do some lubrication but now i'm back we were talking about turnip the music from Nika, their vegan nail enamel and this one you guys is a pretty like nice shade I would say it would actually go really well even with my dress that I'm wearing um, today but my main uh, complaint with this is that this actually made my nails look super yellow once I took it off so um the staining on this specific one is really bad i don't know if it's just this particular shade that stained my nails yellow or if it is the entire range that would end up doing that for you if you have tried any shades from this range let me know but i'm a little bit more wary to try out i want to say it was the specific shade because i know that certain colors can tend to stain the nails a certain way i do not know this is going to stain my nails this bad and I think going forward it's not like I'm gonna declutter it because it is pretty and it can look good quite a bit like even when I was doing product phot photography with like these two sunscreens and I was wearing this nail paint it looked really good so um, I'm gonna continue to use this I'm just gonna make sure that I have some sort of a base underneath when I'm wearing it but uh, yeah I just thought I'll give you that PSA and the other product which I was hoping is going to be really amazing um, but it was not as amazing as I thought is the Dot & Key Watermelon Super Glow 10% Glycolic Acid Renew Face Serum with Kojic Acid. It's got PHE and Cloudberry Oil as well. This you guys is intense. I am someone who has used AHAs for years and years and years but 10% Glycolic Acid this is intense. 
Uh, it does not say anywhere in the package and I specifically read the instructions to see if they mention that you should be using this just once or twice in a week or something like that. It does not say it anywhere. It says, the direction I'm going to read it to you says, apply three to four drops of the serum on a clean face. Let the serum absorb fully into the skin before moving on to moisturizer and sunscreen. Add it to your PM routine. Uh, that actually doesn't make sense um, you're, they're saying use it in the PM routine but then you're saying use it uh, before you put moisturizer and sunscreen that's weird of course I would use this in the PM routine I would never use this in my AM routine but even in the PM routine I feel like it definitely tingles a little bit on the skin and then you put on a moisturizer and stuff but then the next day your face definitely looks like you know it's been like chemically exfoliated like you've used a chemical peel um, and I'm not saying that in a good way I'm saying that in a way that you know skin feels a little sensitive it's a little textured and stuff um, so yeah I mean this is definitely something that you have to build up your tolerance to um, but I am someone who's already used AHAs for so many years and I still feel like this is a little too intense. So for anyone who is a beginner or a like middle level exfoliation person, I feel like this will probably be too intense for you and I want to like warn you and tell you if you have sensitive skin, please do not buy this and please do not put this on your face. Um, I think I would use this maybe once a week maybe once in two weeks or something like that like how i would typically use a chemical peel i would kind of use that with that frequency in mind but the reason i'm underwhelmed and a little bit disappointed is that i i'm someone who prefers more everyday exfoliation i would have rather preferred them to come out with like a two percent or a five percent glycolic acid that is you know easier to use that you can use every single day instead of something that's so intense that you cannot use as often and dot and key already has other products which are more like chemical peels so it also feels a little bit repetitive to come out with a similar product which is super like super duper potent um and you know i don't know like i did not expect it to be this intense and i did not I would not have got it if I knew it was that intense because I told you guys not that long ago is that I don't want to be purchasing like chemical peel kind of products anymore because I am definitely someone who prefers more everyday exfoliation so I feel like because of that I am a little bit disappointed with this product but um, I will continue to use it I don't know if I'll use this on my face or maybe I'll use it like a foot peel or like somewhere on my body maybe maybe not i don't know i'll keep you updated i don't plan to declutter this yet i will still have this in my arsenal i'll just figure out how i'm going to use it but uh, yeah i just thought of mentioning that uh, with that specific product so yes that is that that was it for all the products that i wanted to speak to you about today i really really hope that you found this video helpful and informative and uh, i hope that you kind of got to know my thoughts on some of the products that i've been using and loving recently but yes that is going to be it for this video thank you so 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 much for watching you guys i know this video is actually a little bit late it was mainly because i was sick and i couldn't film earlier uh, which is why i could not get this july favorites up in july it's going to kind of get carry forwarded into august but i hope you don't mind i hope it's not too late and i hope that um, you enjoyed watching this video thank you so 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 much watching until next time bye bye bye